Same phone. What is up, YouTubers? Making it small, making it quick. Um, I'm going to have to redo my videos because I got a copyright strike. And non copyright music. And I'm sitting like, okay, what the heck? What's going on? And it was a uh, one typical song. I ain't going to do this one because I do not want to get copyrighted again. And I was going to fight it and everything like that. And it was like, uh, YouTube changes it around. So now if you try to fight a cop like a copyright claim, you will get your channel permanently. Goodbye. So instead of trying to fight it and risking to lose my channel now, F that. I'm saying F that. No way, no how am I doing that crap. I, I've worked so long, seven years, to build my channel to be, um, to be helping people out, doing, showing people what I like to do, what I like to do for fun, and everything like that. That's why I like my channel. It's one of a kind. I don't see anybody else, well, there's probably some people out there do different things on their channel, but... I mean, I like playing games, I like to listen to music, I like to talk to you guys. I'm thinking about doing actually live streams and actually talking to my subscribers and everything. That I think that'd be really cool, but if you guys like that idea, let me know and I'll do it. I can't do it on my computer because it's too slow. No way. Um, for that music, it's right here. Let me down by... Um, oh, who's a buy, who's a buy, who's a buy? Uh... Crossroads? I don't know if it's going to show up here. Let me... What the hell? I don't know, you know what song that is. Wait, what the hell is that song called again? I forgot. It's funny. Uh, music... Let me down, okay. I don't know if it's a country song or what. I don't know, but I don't. Oh, I can't. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, let me down by the. Oh, chain smokers. My bad. So apparently, somebody had their music like that, no copyright, and I thought it was, and I downloaded it. And there's this original chain smoker song, so I got copyright for it. So that's why you don't see the video on my channel no more. Um, I'm going to have to fix it, which I already did. I took it out. Still got to do all those yet. Yeah, that's the suburban here. Everything I done to it. Now you guys get to see what I done to it. I don't know if I get copyright for TV, but I just didn't went to sleep just now, so it's 10 10. But that's what the Sir Bourbon went through. Now, I never really thought about putting this on my YouTube, but until now, I was like, man, I wish I'd done that because me and my brother, we did all this stuff. He did the body work, I did some of it. I got to weld some of it in, which is pretty fun. Got to, that's on the Patterson side, we replaced that one. And then a gray primer, which is still sitting in gray primer. Uh, that's the whole side Mike did. I got to do some of it. That's why you see some crappy welds. <laughs> but I got the whole sand down the whole tire back fender part. That's what the other driver's side. No, yeah, driver's side looked like right there. Nice big old hole and everything. I mean, it was in bad shape when we got it. Those are the doors that we got replaced. Um, it came off of a 4x4 Suburban. Um... I went to go back to get the other two doors for the front and driver. Driver side was smashed in, caved in up on, on the bottom, so I couldn't use it. But I went to the passenger door. They scrapped the suburban. Oh, was I upset because there's a lot of good parts I could have got off that to put, finish this stuff. But I waited because I got the two back doors. Paid 120 bucks for the two back rear doors. Michael paid 120 for the two cargo doors, which is a good deal, I think. Yeah, he did. <clears throat> Um, 
Yeah, that's what she looks like. They know what she looked like. I know some of the pictures are kind of blurry because I used to have a iPod and it took crappy pictures, some of it. But yeah, that's what me and Mike did. He cut it out and everything. He painted it. I got to paint it. That was a lot of fun. That's what it looked like. Oh crap! That's what it looked like right there. Don't look like that no more. That looks sexier and better and. I love it. Alright, there's a headliner. I think that's... Yeah, from that to that. Or that to the, to what it looks like now. Put the running boards back on it. Because that way my daughter can get there easier and stuff. My sister-in-law can get there into the patch of seat a lot easier. Me and driver's seat. I just hop on there sometimes. Sometimes I use a running board. Yeah. That's the headliner. We painted it. We took all that crap out and then painted it. But... Didn't know the paint was water based. So if it gets really humid in there, if you got leave the wood in there and it gets humid, it will start dripping off the freaking thing. Oh man, that's insane. Uh, it's the back corner piece. That's what it looked like right there, all rusted. I mean, it looked like hell when we got it. Yeah, I did with the charter side. That's what the. Wait, yeah, driver's side. I had to think for a second. I think, no, wait, that could be the passenger side, too. Yeah, that's passenger side. Now I think about it, because I see the back door right here. No. Driver's side? Yeah, because driver's side, because right there's a metal post right there. Yeah, driver's side. Uh, from right there, I thought that was the passenger. There's the engine. Mike working on it. I'm helping him, but I was taking pictures, so. We did the, we switched time chains. There is the 300, no, three, fudge. I think that's 350, yeah, that's the 350 transmission that came with the Suburban. We had to stick it back in there so we can move it around. But now we got the correct motor, or correct uh, transmission to 400. I swear I didn't get the dry shaft. That's funny. Because it had a band dry shaft in it. That's what the motor looked like. When we got done with it. I mean, for that, you'll see what it looks like right there. That's what it looked like. Cruddy looking. Crappy looking. We replaced the cam. Double roller. Um, oh. Wait a minute. What's in here somewhere? Is it like that? Okay, I can use my mouse button. I can go like that. That's the passenger door. I got the Spurban. Oh, I did get this. No, wait. I think I... Maybe they did come off the Suburban, I think. I don't know, but that's what it looked like right there. The bottom of that looked like crap. Zoom in a little bit. It looked like crap. Worst shape I've ever seen a vehicle in. But the frame and everything else was in great shape underneath. And we only paid 400 bucks for the uh, Suburban. <laughs> that's a hell of a deal, if you ask me. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. Right there it is. The double roller, we asked what we put in it. I was like, what the heck? That's, that'd be the tailgate part right there we fixed in. XX to the tan. Um, replaced the driver's door as well. And that's when I got the two back. No, wait. I think we got the one door for friend and another friend of his. Or friend of friend, <laughs> I was to say. And we got the door from that. Um... Cargo doors and that came from the junkyard or salvage yard, however you want to say it. But yeah, the roar cam. Oh, that sounds nice. But yeah, we did a lot of work to it. Past four years. We had it since 2014, so about three and a half years. We just got it fixed last year and actually got it on the road and everything. But I guess it took a lot of extra pictures. Yeah, it did. Headliner. I don't know why he did that, but I don't know. Stupid iPod. That's what it looked like. I had to do all that. That was not fun. But I did a pretty good job. Um, yeah, went all the way down and all that way to fix all that rust. I was going to have it before picture. And that's when we had the exhaust, new exhaust that we put on it for right now.
Not to 10 minutes. I don't care. Eh. I know some of you guys are going to be like, uh, what happened to this short, quick video? But I don't care. I don't think you guys care because this is more interesting to uh, talk about. Now this... Oh, I'm, okay. This is more on the back tailgate part. That's the driver's side. <laughs> yeah, I know my weld isn't great. Michael's teaching me how to weld. He did some pretty good job. I mean, some of this is his welds. So, yeah. But I had my first shirt helping him. Uh, sanding, painting, taking stuff apart, putting stuff back on, losing parts. <laughs> okay, that stuff is old again. Oh, okay, maybe not. Must have been the same picture or a different picture. I don't know. Looks the same. That's what it looked like with the engine back in it. Uh, there's the AC box. There's the motor and all that stuff for the AC and everything. Now it's heat only. We got rid of the AC because they cut cut it off like some of the videos you see. And it had the AC going underneath the frame or inside the frame and all that stuff. And I didn't have, I don't want to spend, what well, was it, almost four to four grand or something like that to get it all fixed back up I said no I just do the cheap way fix it my way but yeah she looks great very great <laughs> that's a lot of pictures I wish I could put on my YouTube but but you guys want to see what Michael's know what you look like here you guys go. Uh, let's see where, where, where. There you go. This is what Michael's Nova used to look like. <laughs> right there. In the barn. Barn does. So that's proof that Nova came out of a barn. But. Who volunteered to clean the car? Me. I volunteered for Mike. That's my brother, Kenny's Camaro. Uh, now it's to my, that's not my brother at all, that's a friend of ours, Kevin, um, Michael in the background, with his nice tailgate before I got ran over by the trailer, <laughs> that sucks so bad, I mean, look how great that thing looked, too, trailer ran, it fell, I think it fell, yeah, it came unhinged and it fell off, or fell off the back of his truck, and trailer ran right over and left a nice big old dent, and Michael was like, oh, he was mad, but yeah, some pictures of my brother. Camaro Michael did up for him. There's Nova, straight six in it. And there's my older, my second oldest brother, Kenny. We lost him in a motorcycle accident. But my nephew, his son, has the car now, which I'm pretty happy about. Man, that car looks gorgeous too. Kenny just absolutely was tickled. I still remember. But then there's Michael's car. There's his car again. And again, after I washed it, coming home on the trailer, the door and everything, spare door, which we got, and there's our cousin Aaron driving his Jeep. We had a fun time. So did I, cleaning the damn car, <laughs> getting rid of all that dust and dirt, and, I, and the car kind of still stinks like rat shit. Sorry, Mike, I know you're going to watch this. Sorry, bro, I know you're going to watch this video, but sorry, dude. But somewhat, it smells finally going away. Then I got my Eve. Once I play Eve online, which looks like this and stuff. I never really did. I don't think I did a YouTube video. Maybe I have. I don't know. But a lot of stuff I've done. Snowball fights and stuff like that. Christmas time. That's what. Come on. That's about snowball fight. Flying in space. Mining. All that good stuff. Uh, let's see, it's the Nova Tower, which is around, I forget where it's at, but I got the Dead Man switches, the tower. I was not scared. Mike was scared to go up to the stairs. I'm like, I'll do it. And I did it. <laughs> and I got pictures of the arm, are they Armstrong levers is what they're called. <laughs> I was going to do this on the uh, computer, like do my little thing, but it's like, oh, well, who cares? I thought I was gonna make this short, like my little pictures I done and everything. Made a hot rod, looked pretty sweet. I done up a 
plow truck where I cut the frame, made it longer. Uh, cut the bed, made it longer, which is somewhere in here, somewhere. Made a different truck like that. Well, 4x4 plow truck. There it is. This is what it looked like right there. And then... Yep, right there. That's where I cut it and everything. Glued it back together. Welded the frame. But that's what the truck looked like right there. So if anybody wants it, but Jesus Christ, it's expensive. Here's that black truck I was working on. The frames. Compare the frames. Long, short to longer. And then... I think... I have a picture of the truck. Weird. I don't even remember what I did with my model truck. I put it up. Oh, that's right. I put it up because my daughter knocked the tire, front tire off of it. So I put it up so it doesn't get ruined. Then I got our dog, which is Buddy, Kayla, Michael's. Actually, it's our dog, so it's Michael's and mine and dad's. There's Buddy when he was little. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't have spikes. There's Kate and Buddy. God, I miss Kate though. Wish she didn't pass away. That's one of the hardest things I've ever seen or had to do. And then here is the Co Cadet LT1042 that I did up a long time ago. Got a 12 horse uh, Brig and Stratton. I think has had power it. Me and Mike. Looked it up, looked it over, because we had to take the head off, because the uh, flywheel locked up, and the magnets broke off, and everything locked it up, so we took it apart, make sure everything was okay, found out the head was bored 10 or 20 or 30 over, somewhere around there, between 10 and 30 over, I mean, that thing was powerful, pretty fast too, Just gorgeous when I got it, now I got me a new one. Now I can start the project over. Water heater. Uh, use the brake as the little lever for the plow to go up and down. Chain the lock in place. Little um, pin to lock it. That's pretty neat. Push button start. I mean, this thing that was hot rotted. Mike did a flame job for me. As you can tell right there. Mike does a pretty good job flames. He's rusty at it, but he did a pretty good damn job. That lookout came out great looking. <laughs> My little pipe come up. I don't know if I have it. Oh yeah, I'd be on the other side. I don't know if I ever did it. If... I know I did a review on YouTube that I have a bracket come down off the motor or off the frame hooked up to the pipe to keep it straight. So it doesn't move back and forth. I mean, she will get up and go. I mean, I had a lot of fun for. Yeah, that's what it looked like right there. No bracket, no nothing yet. But, got all hooked up with the motor in. All that thing I ever done to it is replace the battery, or replace the belt, and got a new motor for it, because the motor in it blew up too. So I got another second uh, 1000 LT. Here's the tires I bought. Paid 160 bucks for two tires like that, the egg tires. Man. I think it was a lot of fun. I had a 50 pound brick. Had my battery right here. Because I had to put the gas tank up here for Briggs. But I'm kind of hoping I can try to make that fuel pump work where I can get it right in there. But that's what it looked like when I'm done. The boss plow, that's what I called it. Water heater plow. 